Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. As we saw within the previous lesson, you can create a data source on the fly for your merge documents in Word. This saves the addresses that you create as a Microsoft database file. You know that in the third pane of the step-by-step -step mail merge wizard, you are asked from where you want to select the mail merge recipients. If you select the option, type a new list from the hyperlink shown in the task pane, and then click the create hyperlink in the center of the pane, Word will open the new address list dialog box. You can use this dialog box to add, edit, delete, find, and customize the records within your data source. You can also access this dialog box by clicking the Select Recipients button that appears in the Start Mail Merge group on the Mailings tab in the ribbon, and then choosing the Type New List command from the Buttons drop-down menu. To enter a new record into the data source, simply type the information into the first field and then press Tab on your keyboard to move to the next field. You continue entering information until you've entered all of the necessary data for the record. Now if necessary, you can click the New Entry button to add a new blank record to the list and you repeat this process until you've entered all of the records to your data source. Now to delete a record from your data source, click into the record that you want to delete within the data form. Then click the Delete Entry button to delete the entry. You will need to click the Yes button in the confirmation message box that appears to delete the selected record. To find records in the data source based on a field's value, click the Find button to open the Find Entry dialog box. In this dialog box, you type the value for which you are looking into the Find text box. Then select the fields to search by choosing the appropriate radio button, All Fields or This Field. If you select this field, then you will have to select one of the available fields from the drop-down menu to the right of the option. When you're ready, click the Find Next button to find the next data entry record that matches your criteria. You can continue doing this until you reach the end of the list, and once you've finished using this dialog box, click the Close button to return to the data form. You can click the Customize Columns button to open the Customize Address List dialog box. This box allows you to add, delete, rename, and reorganize the order of fields in the data source. To add a new field, click the Add button at the right side of the dialog box. In the Add Field dialog box, type a name for the new field into the text box, and then click the OK button to add it to the listing of fields shown. To delete a field shown in the Customize Address List dialog box, select the name of the field that you want to delete from the listing of fields shown, and then click the Delete button to delete the selected field. You will need to click the Yes button in the confirmation message box that appears in order to delete the field. 
If you wish to rename one of the fields, select the field that you want to rename from the list, and then simply click the Rename button. In the Rename Field dialog box that appears, type the new name for the field into the To text box. Then click the OK button to rename the field and return to the Customize Address List dialog box. You can also change the order of the fields in the list by clicking on the field whose position within the list you want to change, and then clicking the Move Up or Move Down buttons in order to change its place within the list. Now once you've finished using the Customize Address List dialog box, you can then click the OK button to set your changes and return to the New Address List dialog box. After you've finished using the New Address List dialog box, click the OK button. You can then save the address list into a desired folder. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.